If a girl ever pulls out a knife on you during an argument, pull out some bread and mayo. Her woman instincts will kick in and she will make you a sandwich. Bro, is are we living in like the early 2000s or something? Who even who even says this anymore? And let's be honest, if anyone pulls a knife out on you and you pull out a loaf of bread, you're gonna be turned into a sandwich. Like what? Whoa, how did you survive that knife attack? Oh, I just had my trusty loaf of wholemeal bread and some mayo for some reason, just, just for this occasion. Excuse me, a real woman will stand by her man even when he impregnated another woman. First off, I don't really know what counts and is considered a real woman. I think what they might be referring to is like, I don't know, women who just aren't holograms or something. I mean, could a real woman be a chicken nugget? I don't know. A real woman might be someone who looks after a man, apparently, who can't change his own diapers. I mean, honestly, what kind of partner would stick with someone who cheated on them and got somebody else pregnant? Nothing says eternal love like being loyal to someone who isn't loyal to you. Straight men have very odd perceptions about cheating and women's body parts. Men cheat because one woman is not enough. I know women hate to think that no matter how pretty they think they are, they aren't enough, but that's the truth. Men look at women's spaghetti as a conquest. New cut spaghetti means new conquest. Monogamy is a woman's game. Oh yeah, there's nothing I love more than sitting out with the boys and just discussing about all the conquering we've done. I mean, sometimes people call me King Ben the Pillager. <laughs> Obviously, you know, I'm just an absolute barbarian out here. I mean, you guys should just check my Instagram. I have a throne of a thousand knickers. It's just unbelievable. <laughs> The fact they capitalize the word her. A good woman is not easy to find nowadays. You have to steal her from a careless man who doesn't value what he has. That's right, boys. If you're watching this video, if you see a girl and she's with another guy and you want to be with her, you just have to literally kidnap her. I mean, just according to this logic, every girl is going to enjoy, I don't know, just being blindfolded, picked up and thrown into a van. I mean, how... How could they not enjoy that? I mean, I know I'm going a little bit extreme here. I, I know they don't literally mean kidnapper, but I don't know. You have to be a real dick to go after someone else's partner and say something like it's the conquest of love. It's the quest even. I mean, I know a lot of guys like to think that girls just don't give them a chance to, to find out who they really are. But I mean, let's be honest. If you are a girl, a lot of guys can be quite scary when they're suggesting something like this or just some of the stupid things they come out with on the quest for love. It, it's scary. Like I've said before, I'm not some woke defender, but at the same time, I'm pretty real about when it comes to situations like this. You say that while having tattoos. Modern day women, when you tell them the Bible says to submit to your husband. I mean, bro, what if they're just not religious? I mean, what would that do to affect them? Oh no, watch out ladies. The Bible has said you need to be submitted to the husband. These people just suck and just need to get in the bin. I love the caption as well. It's just lol, so cringe, bruh. Like you can't keep fighting against, I guess, nature, whatever that bit says. Right, welcome back guys to another video. Today we're looking at r slash are the straights okay. Now I know that everyone in a relationship, doesn't matter who you're dating or what you're with, you can have some pretty bad takes on when it comes to relationships. No relationship, no matter what you're into, is ever going to be perfect. But today we are specifically looking at, I guess, straight people who would just have some really stupid opinions. So if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe as it really helps me out. You can also comment down below on anything you've heard someone do to impress someone and if it was kind of creepy. I know I'd love to read that. With all that being said, let's just get into the video. This one is just captioned as bruh. So ruin young men's lives behind a pickle pick, but breastfeeding in public is allowed, although it makes some people uncomfortable. People need thicker spaghetti skin. Sending unsolicited pickle pics is now illegal in Texas and could result in a $500 fine. My life is ruined. <laughs> I can't harass people anymore. And obviously I've never received a pickle pic, but at the same time, if I got one, what am I meant to say to it? Like, nice one. G thanks for the angle. You really put some effort into it. Wow, I really appreciate how you even set up some lighting to get a really good angle of your pickle. And honestly, who has the mindset to be like, yeah, I know what I'm going to send her. A picture of my pickle. Yeah, she'll love that. This one's just captioned as defiled. It's good you're a virgin though. Why? You're not defiled. Defiled? No one's been inside you. 
So women that have had sex are defiled. That's really backwards way of thinking. You're missing the point, but go ahead. Yep, I can totally see where this guy is coming from. Ladies, if you have ever been with somebody in a, you know, a let's get down to business way, you're just a witch. You are apparent, you must be Satan. I mean, how dirty can you be to do something that is perfectly normal? Oh, the thought of it. Oh, it just makes me want to throw up. I spit on you for being so dirty. <laughs> What do guys honestly think girls are going to turn around and say when they brag about how many girls they've slept with? Do, do they expect like a high five or a complimentary, oh, I'm so happy you have got so much clam chowder to your name? I don't think I've ever called a <laughs> another girl's area clam chowder. Let's just, let's just not make that a thing. This one is captioned as you. I'm 22 and I can't even imagine dating someone freshly out of high school, let alone at 28. Just because it's legal doesn't mean it isn't uncomfortable. And then obviously someone just has an amazing opinion. Bro, that's the best time to date girls is when they are young. Why the spaghetti would I want to date a girl who's 30 plus and has been ran through by multiple men and carries the baggage with her that's not even worth dealing with? I mean, if you're even, I don't know, 21, I don't want to say a specific number because I know some people might be in this situation, but let's say you are like 22, 23. If you are dating someone who is 18, in my opinion, that's kind of weird. Because if you actually look at like an 18 year old and you look at a 23 year old, for example, there is a big difference. I know a lot of people when they're younger like to think they look older than they actually are, but I guarantee you, if you look at pictures of even a few years ago to what your age is now, you will be like, how, how did this person even get on the bus for an adult ticket? I look like a child. Yikes, rule, whatever, be the reason she has double locks on her door. Who the hell posted this thinking, yeah, this is hot. This is what a good relationship looks like. This would be like me posting an image saying, be the reason she sleeps with a knife next to her bed. That's not a good thing to brag about or have to deal with. Why are people so stupid? Girlfriend sets up spy camera to watch her boyfriend. POV, he said goodnight an hour ago, but you've been watching him play the game from the new bottle of cologne you bought him. Bro, bro, that is weird. That is, that is creepy. I wouldn't be surprised if that is just kind of straight up illegal. I mean, I know there's a lot of unwritten rules in relationships, but that is an illegal rule. That, no, that's, that's illegal to do. You cannot do that. That is weird. If my girlfriend ever did that to me, holy Jesus Christ. <laughs> I mean, I, I definitely do this. But I, <laughs> I don't want a gift and I have to think, hmm, is there, is there a camera in this? Right, that is going to be it for today's video, guys. That is enough of looking at absolute idiots with bad opinions. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe as it really helps me out. You can follow me on my socials below and you can message me at any point. I do try my best to respond. I hope you all have a wonderful day and I will see you all next time.